So this is a guide to kinesiology taping. Um, the vast majority of the taping techniques that I'm going to show you in the subsequent videos uh, were taught to me by a man called John Gibbons. Uh, he does have a book, Practical Guide to Kinesiology Taping. Um, you'll find most of the things that I'm going to show you in here. So if you wanted a, a physical copy, you know, this book's readily available. Uh, most bookshops, uh, just Google it and you should find it. Um, the point of this guide is to show you some of the tape husbandry before you go on to taping yourself which should make the videos make a bit more sense and make them flow a bit easier. So there's two types of uh, ways we cut the tape. So there's a standard I strip and then there's a Y strip. Okay. In the videos I've decided I'm going to give you measurements for the tape. Uh, these measurements are just a guide so if you're you know, a 16 stone rugby player versus a 6 stone ballerina the size of tape you're going to use is going to vary but if you go off the measurement I give and then you can adapt it to your own body for that reason I like using Voc tape there's lots of other brands out there but Voc tape is very top quality tape but also it comes on a spool you'll find a lot of the other tapes come in measured pieces um, which I personally don't like because then you're trying to fit your body around the tape rather than fit the tape to your body so when you're cutting your standard eye strips, what you do is once you've cut it is you want to round the edges, okay? So there's my scissors. You'd measure the piece of tape that you want. And you've got the right length, you cut it off, you see it's quite square. The problem with this is it's gonna catch on clothing, particularly lower limb tapings I find. It catches on the clothing and then the tape loses some of its longevity so if you just take some scissors and then round off the ends it stops it catching and will make your taping last a lot longer okay so you have a standard eye they'll come in different sizes depending on what you're doing and then a Y strip you cut like an eye but then you cut down the middle just follow a line down the middle leaving about one inch at the end there okay so that's your two different types an I and a Y strip okay the other thing you'll hear me talk about uh, a fair amount is stretch so uh, if we have a look so once you remove the backing here's the tape of no stretch here's the tape for 100% so from there you can work out 50 and from there 25 or 75 okay important part when you tape is the stretch is only applied in the center of the tape okay the muscle will be put on stretch by the way we position our body and then the start of the taping is called and the end is called the anchors and the stretch is applied between the two anchors so we've done it if we've done a split in the paper like this the way we apply it so we apply it somewhere in the knee is we'd apply the stretch and I'll tell you how much so we're going for about 75 we place it down so we're placing down with stretch, but you'll see the anchors are loose, okay? Then you can just peel the tape and you apply them with no stretch at all, okay? Just shorten this one down. With a longer eye strip, the way you would do it is you remove the first inch of the tape, okay? Of the backing, sorry. So you rip an inch, you peel this off to expose the tape, you apply that end with no stretch at all and if you give it a little tug it lifts the backing off. Then you apply the stretch you want, place it down, you can see nice and loose, no stretch at the end. Okay. Uh, so that's stretch. Uh, What's the other thing to we'll talk about? So with the tape, um, once it's on, you will rub it. And you rub with the printed side of the backing, not the shiny side, the printed side, because it's a heat activated glue and that will then get the glue active. If once it's on, you have a shower, yeah, the tape's gonna be wet longer than you. With a towel, you dry it by rolling don't rub because you end up catching it and lifting it. Dab it down and then let it dry naturally. 
don't be tempted to artificially heat it with a hair dryer or anything like that because it is heat activated. So the hair dryer, at best you're gonna get blisters. The worst case I've heard of, someone actually needed a skin graft to remove it. So just dab it down with a towel and then let it dry naturally. If you get any itchiness under the tape, this means you're starting to have a reaction to the glue. As soon as it starts itching, don't put up with it, just remove it straight away because the itchiness can turn to blisters relatively quickly. And I think that's about it. Okay, so hopefully that will help make the rest of the uh, taping videos a bit easier to follow.